Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a used 12 by 16 inch canvas. I'm going to do what's called a dump and swirl and my inspiration came from Dwight of Dwight Pores. I will list his name in the description box. Um, and it's also an experiment today on homemade Aussie Floetrol. Um, I did watch an artist yesterday and, and I do apologize. I don't remember the name of this artist, but what she did is she made some homemade Aussie Floetrol out of the uh, U.S. Floetrol. What she did is she took, uh, for every ounce of the Floetrol, she put three drops of the Minwax Pre-Stain uh, Wood Conditioner. And that's what I did today also. So what she did is she mixed up 26 ounces of the Floetrol and that equaled almost 80 ounces, or excuse me, 80 drops of the pre, uh, wood stick, pre, Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner, excuse me. And so what it was, was two milliliters on this little dropper, the pipette. And that's what I filled my pipette to and I mixed up that batch. So my paint today, my base coat, is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I also added some of the Dutch Boy Forever uh, Interior Acrylic Enamel to that. I'm hoping to get the cells today. And I'm just going to see how this new uh, Floetrol mixture works, how many cells I get. The balance of my paints today, the first one is the Liquitex Basics Silver. And my next paint is the Arteza Pearl Rose. Very pretty color. And my last paint is a combination of DecoArt Extreme Sheen Garnet and just a little bit of the Amsterdam Prussian Blue added to that, just to darken it up just a little bit. And my pouring medium for my paints today, I used a Sarah Taylor recipe of one part paint, a half part Floetrol, a squirt of Liquitex pouring medium, and water to thin. I'm using very, very thin paints today. And let me show you with that Arteza paint. It just runs right back in. It does not leave a mound, no trace, almost, almost like water. And also my uh, base coat is, is very thin also. I've already put uh, just a real light layer of my base coat down because I wanted it to be tacky and to um, grab that paint. So what I'm going to do is just put a, a puddle of my base coat here in the middle. And then I'm going to add my paints. And this is that combination of the Prussian blue and the garnet. For some reason I can't talk today. Here's that pretty rose color. And the silver is last. And then I'm just going to have my top coat as my white. And I'm just going to be trying to get this top coat over those colored paints to see if we can get some cells here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of my top coat here. And again, I'm going to add a little bit more of my top coat. Just 
just to make sure my canvas is all covered. And that looks pretty good. Now I'll just check my sides and my corners. Again, this is all experiment. And if you get time, watch Dwight Pours. He does a lot of these dump and swirls. Now I'm going to give it a torch and see if anything comes up. And what I'm going to do is give it some time to see what develops, and then I will bring you back. I'm going to give it about 20 minutes, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, everybody. This painting has sat here about 20 minutes, and I've given it a few torches. So I feel that uh, any cells that we're going to develop have developed. So let's go over the painting. Again, this is a 12 by 16 inch canvas. And I am experimenting today with the uh, Aussie homemade Aussie flow trawl, where I used Artist Loft Flow acrylic white um, as my base coat. And the flow trawl was mixed again um, for every ounce, three drops of the Minwax pre stain wood conditioner. So this is the upper left hand corner. And we'll just go down the left hand side here. Many different type of cells came up. And in some places, I wonder if I had my paint just a little bit too thick, like in this area. I did notice that that rose color did bleed through the white paint. And also the, um, the garnet color came through like that. Some interesting cells. I'm pretty happy with this painting, although I would like to experiment a little more with this uh, Floetrol mixture and maybe use black as my base coat and black as my flood coat instead of the white. Again, here's a, a plain area in here. We'll just go down to the bottom. And go up again here. Again, some interesting cells. Some very teeny, teeny little cells in there also. And here is the upper right-hand corner here. That's a nice area. We'll go down the right-hand side here. It's always fun experimenting. This is nice in here where that did bleed through like that. The only thing I would give a warning on is that uh, wood pre-stain conditioner is oil-based, so I have a feeling that when this dries, before I would uh, varnish it, uh, I would have to uh, really clean the surface off really well to get the oil off of it. I do like the cells in here. They're pretty interesting. And here is the lower right-hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and this experiment. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell, choose all, so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.